the back door is an institution. It's a bar, it's an entertainment venue, it's dancing, it's community, it's a lot of things. It might be the site of a revolution if things keep going the way that they are. Throw glitter, not shade. We're a queer bar, get hip to it. We're also a unicorn sanctuary. My name is Nikki B. I co-own and operate this joint. I'm also the uh, arts and entertainment director. I'm Smooth. Uh, I'm one of the co-owners here at the back door. Smooth, my business partner, is, is mostly kind of the behind the scenes financials dad. And I tend to be kind of mama bear of the place if you want to put it in a nuclear family sort of situation. I get to do all the boring things like payroll and inventory and sort of the behind the scenes things that actually keep this place running. Nikki takes care of a lot of the artistic side of things. For the most part, I take care of programming and make sure that our marketing is going right and I take care of the performers and book the shows. I also do a lot of the design around here, so all of our merch are my designs. Well, we are open seven days a week, so we try to have a little something for everybody. Mondays we have half price drinks. On Wednesdays we have a really great kind of open mic situation, but for drag and burlesque, um, or performance art performers. Thursdays, music, or sometimes a silly game show. Fridays and Saturdays we do drag and burlesque, and there's always a dance party, and then on Sundays we do a karaoke dance party. Everything is difficult, especially in a politicized space. There are, there are a lot more rewards, but any time that you have a space that is intended for marginalized people, that always makes, your, makes yourself more vulnerable to folks that want to harm that, those marginalized folks. And so that's just a stressful sort of reality. Drunk people can be terrible. Dealing with people that act out, whether it's violence or making sexual advances towards someone that are unwelcome, those kinds of things we don't tolerate. What does the back door mean to me? I feel like our community definitely needs a space like this. I mean, it's not just like a place to have fun. You know, it's more than that. Sometimes we create spaces that are a little bit selfish, and I think Smooth and I have done that to a certain degree, is that we created the space that we needed, and just it just happened to be that everybody else needed it too.